Bomberman Quest on Game Boy Color has a two-player Link Deathmatch mode. And Bomberman is known for having quality multiplayer experiences, but unfortunately, it's just as much fun as a two-player Bomberman Deathmatch sounds. Besides the restriction of a 1v1 deathmatch, the problem with Bomberman Quest multiplayer mode stems from the single player mode. Unless you play through the single player campaign, each player will only have access to a single bomb during multiplayer mode. In fact, the first match that I played, I accidentally didn't equip the only bomb item available, so it was a stupid stand there and wait for time to run out match. So yeah, the game wants you to assign an item to each button. Okay, now I know. Only having access to a single bomb when the game initially starts is rather limiting, but there's a whole screen of potential items that are collectible during the single player campaign and usable here in multiplayer. Just a bummer that you'll need to play for hours to gain access to the good stuff. Other than that, players have the ability to adjust the time of each match up to 5 minutes, the number of wins to claim victory, and there are 6 stages available. Normal, Field, Forest which has some trees, the beach where you can die if you walk into the water, Desert with some rock formations, and Obstacle which has some spikes. Each arena is rather small since it's only a 1v1 multiplayer, but the chibi art style is kinda cute. Later titles, like the excellent Bomberman Tournament on Game Boy Advance, fixes all these problems by having a full-blown multiplayer Bomberman experience for up to four players all from a single cartridge. Seriously, it's pretty awesome and it's a highlight on the GBA. To learn more about this amazing single-pack multi-boot mode, click on the link at the end of this video. So, what do you think? Have you played the multiplayer mode in any handheld Bomberman game? If so, which version do you enjoy or hate the most and why? And don't you think it's about time to get a Bomber Woman game? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this Game Boy Color Link Cable video, you might want to check out my Game Boy Advance Single Pack Link series as I explore this underappreciated multiplayer feature that only requires one cartridge for up to four players. Link will be in the description. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes of my Enable the Link Cable series. And let me know what Game Boy or Game Boy Color multiplayer games you'd like me to cover next. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.